Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Cyber Weekend is here and uh, now that the dust has kind of settled and the impulse to just buy everything has waned, um, I took the last uh, day or so to kind of evaluate all the offers and I kind of wanted to offer my thoughts on everything uh, and let you guys know uh, what I went with. Uh, and thanks to the generosity of many of you out there, I was actually able to participate in some of the cash offers this year. So thank you very much to everybody who's donated. I really, really appreciate you. Um, so the the unit offers, um, I am going to go with the first two, the 1,000 and the 4,000. Uh, and I'm going to skip the 10,000. Um, when, I, when I kind of evaluated these offers, uh, I kind of took a look at what my account needs right now. Um, I don't need gold. I don't need tier 5 basic. I don't need tier 2 alpha. I have all of those things in the overflow. I don't need 5 star 6 stones. I have like 500 plus crystals sitting unopened, uh, 6 stone crystals rather, sitting unopened. Um, so what I need for my account right now is really ways to further expand and improve my 6 star roster. Um, I need more champs. I need more good champs. Um, there are a couple champs that I have that I need ranked up to rank 3. Um, but when I looked at the offers between the unit deals and the cash offers, uh, the amount that I would have to spend to guarantee an R3 as a result of these deals was more than I was comfortable spending. Um, I am about 33-34% of a tier 5 class catalyst away from my next R3, which would be Captain Marvel. Um, so I would have had to have bought uh, two Odins just to get the 40% cosmic to get that um, that champion ranked up, and that was I was not comfortable with that. Um, but the, the these first two um, first two bundles are, are pretty good deals for me. You know I have the unit saved up um, just over time. Um, this first one here, it's kind of like a just like a stepping stone offer. Um, the Awakening Gem is fine. I'm actually going to be. <laughs> I'm actually going to be maxed out on Awakening Gems, Generic Awakening Gems, after this month. Because I this will give me my fourth one, and I'll get a fifth one from the Gamma event. So I'm actually looking forward to using some of those on some fun Awakenings, on champs that I might not be otherwise able to uh, awaken, like um, like OG Black Widow or uh, Labtron. So uh, the Nexus in here is, is cool. Might give us something, somebody that we don't have. Um, we'll see. Um, this 4,000 unit offer. Uh, the rank up gem is cool. I'm still ranking up five stars, mostly for fun at this point. Um, fun and utility, I would say. Um, and then the six star Nexus crystal was really um, appealing to me. Um, and the other stuff is, is great. You know, 10 six star signature stone crystals is, is fine. I'm sure I'll use this eventually. I don't really have a champion that I need to use six stones on. But when we get down to this 10,000 unit bundle, there's just, there's just not enough value in here for the price. Um, the rank up gem one to two. I already have one sitting um, in my inventory, so I don't necessarily need another. And again, I have resources uh, sitting in the overflow, waiting to rank up six star champions. So that doesn't really appeal to me. Again, tier five, I don't really need um, the five percent or the five ten percent random class catalyst fragment crystals. If, if those were selectors, I probably would have gone with this deal. But there is absolutely no guarantee that I could get fifty percent. Uh, you know, 50% of, of a class that I need, or at least, you know, 40% of a class that I need. Um, so getting, you know, these these tier 5 class catalyst pieces like piecemeal to me is just not not appealing. Um, the 25 6 star 6 stones are nice to have, but again, I don't have a champion right now that I am really dying to feed stones into. Um, you know, the, the kind of highlight of this 10k deal is the featured 6 star hero crystal, which is actually the next featured crystal so it's got like apoc and ghost and uh, professor x is in it um but ten thousand units for essentially early access to a featured crystal not for me not for me um and then you know that makes that kind of the next offer the three thousand unit offer just kind of an afterthought like i'm not i'm not going to pay thirteen thousand units for what is essentially um you know a, a six star and an awakening gem so so I am passing on the 10,000 and the 3,000 unit offer. Um, so what I did end up going with was um, I got uh, the three uh, Tony Starks briefcases. Um, so we're going to have uh, three six-star featured, I'm sorry, six-star nexuses from the Tony Starks briefcases. Uh, you can see they're actually gone here because I bought all three. 
Uh, and then we're gonna have one from the unit deal once I get that. So we'll have four of those to open. Um, and then we'll have the five star Nexus crystal and then the five star rank up gem. So a um, couple things to do today. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, unit offers and we'll get started. All right, so we'll get the 1,000 and then we'll get the 4,000 and then we will click X quickly. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do the let's do the rank up gem first. Um, is it is it generic actually? I, you know what? I didn't even bother to check. Ah, okay, it it is a generic gem. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I'm sure I'll find a, a use for that. Uh, all right, so let's go open the five star nexus, and then we'll uh, we'll do the six star nexus crystals. Uh, five star nexus. Oh god, I got so many crystals in here. All right, five star nexus. Um, there's a host of champions that I would like new out of here. To see what we get. And we're getting Psylocke, Juggernaut, and Invisible Woman. Okay, well, um, I have a six star Invisible Woman. Um, so sh the five star probably won't get ranked up, but I don't need additional SIG levels on either of the other two champs. So we'll just take uh, Invisible Woman there and uh, move on to the six star. Nexus crystals. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so from here, um, ideally, we want a six-star Mystic Champion worthy of rank three. I've got the tier five class, yeah, tier five class catalyst sitting in the inventory. Uh, if this champion needs awakened, I've got an awakening gem for a Mystic Champion as well. Um, other than that. Just looking for some good champs, like a, like a guillotine or a warlock would be awesome. Um, and I've got a science tier 5, so if we got like a really good science champion that didn't need the awakening to be good, I would maybe consider taking them up, uh, taking them up over thing. Um, void? Ah, six star void would be amazing. Alright, so we got four chances at maybe uh, getting another R3 is, is really what I'm getting at here, so... Let's do this first one and see what we're getting blessed with today. It's been a little bit longer than normal. Call Daredevil and Black Panther. Awesome. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Call here. Uh, I make fun of Call a lot because of his block proficiency, uh, but he is certainly a fun champion, and I'm sure I'll have some fun with him. And he is uh, leaps and bounds better than the other two in here, so we're going to go with Call there. Not the worst pull. Not the best pull either. All right, let's go for number two. See what we're getting. And we're getting a Storm, a Nihilus, or a Yondu. Man. Um, I guess we're going to go with a Nihilus. I have a rank four five star Nihilus, but I'm not really excited about Storm, and I'm not really feeling Yondu either. Um, oh, this is a tough one. I'm not sure that Annihilus would ever see rank two. Hmm. Um, let's we'll go with we'll go with Annihilus. Okay. And uh six star Nexus number three. Come on. Get somebody really good, please. And we've got Omega, Darkhawk, and Deadpool. Well, well, well. Well, 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 I think Mr. Omega Red will be joining my roster. Um, I am I actually am a little tempted to pick Darkhawk, um, but see, both of these champs, they need their Awakened ability. They both need really high SIG, and I think if it came down to it, I would rather be playing with Omega Red. So we're going to go with Omega. That is a really, really good pull, and I am uh, very, very excited about that one. All right, last one see if we can uh, end this with a nice mystic god tier and we've got cyclops oh oof, oof, guys what is this <laughs> what is this oh this is awful <laughs> cyclops symbiote spidey or iron fist yikes guys yikes all right um i guess spider-man um 
<laughs> wow. Uh, all right, so overall, four new champs. Um, I'm really, really happy about the Omega. Uh, and the call's pretty cool. Not sure where I'll find a use for him. Annihilus is, is whatever. Um, Symbiote Spidey is whatever. Um, these are all champs that are that are not bad, you know, right? But I think that I have champions that do what they do better. Um, so they're kind of like middling picks for me. That Omega Red, though, if I can get him awakened... That's a uh, that's a solid pickup. I'm I'm pretty excited about that one. So, um, I think that's all I have um, for today. Let me go check here real quick. Um, all right, I'm saving. All right, I'm saving the uh, the six star shards. I think I want to go for the featured, uh, and I'm gonna be doing five star featureds um, before long too. So, that's gonna do it for me, guys. <sighs> It's been a day, <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>